video is brought to you today by Ghost Tags. This is my own company that I started because I wanted a glow in the dark air tag case. These things are awesome. You can stick them on your backpack, on your dog's collar, and you will be able to find it at night. We've got two colors, blue and green. They've got great reviews. Go check them out. Links to them down below. Now on to the video. Hey guys, what's up? I'm Slim and you're watching Slimothy TV. In this video, we're going to talk about a very unexpected twist to the USB-C cable situation that's unfolding, as well as how much weight will be saved with the iPhone 15 Pros being titanium. Now this especially impacts the iPhone 15 Pro Max because that one is very heavy, the iPhone 14 Pro Max right now. So once that's switched over to titanium, let's talk about how much lighter that will be. But first here, we are getting rumors, as you can see in this tweet right here, about a data transfer cable for the iPhone 15 Pro sold separately. This person is claiming it will be up to 150 watts charged, they corrected this later, uh, and feature USB 4 Gen 2. The length will be 0.8 meters, which is pretty short. Now this goes a little bit against what we've been talking about with the color matched cables. This is something completely different. This is something that no one really saw coming, so we still have to take it with a grain of salt, but it could possibly make sense. Now before you go out and start thinking that there's gonna be 150 watt charging on the newest iPhones, no, it's likely not gonna happen. There's rumors of a 35 watt charge speed on one of the iPhones. Anything more than that would not be very Apple-like, let's be honest. They keep the charge speeds pretty low, likely to preserve battery life, or at least battery health over time. Now this is interesting because currently we believe the iPhone 15 base models are going to have USB 2.0 data transfer speeds at 480 megabits per second, uh, I think that's a typo right there, that shouldn't be a capital B. With the iPhone 15 Pro models, those could be up to 40, possibly 80 gigabits per second with the new USB-C port and cables. Now let's hop over to 9to5Mac here because they have a story as well. And this is where things get interesting because previously we thought it was gonna be up to 40 gigabits per second. That would make sense. However, today that leak that came out via tweet shows USB 4 version 2, which allows up to 80 gigabits per second. That would be insane. That would be super fast. I don't know who would even need that. 40 gigabits is plenty but I guess 80 would be great. But anyways, if this is sold separately, I think it would make sense. I think every single iPhone 15 and 15 Pro, all the models are going to come in the box with a color matched braided cable. It will not be this one. This one's super thick and very short. Not something that the general consumer is wanting because this would just be unwieldy. It probably wouldn't even fit in the iPhone's box. Look at how it doesn't fold or bend right. Uh, we've reviewed a couple on the channel that are similar to this. They're great cables, but not for daily use. So just keep that in the back of your mind. I think we could get up to 50 watt charging on the iPhone 15 Pros if Apple wanted to really step it up. 35 watts is fine, but man, if we could get up to 50, that would be pretty sweet. They could really tout that as, you know, super fast charging as far as iPhones go. But let's talk about how much lighter the titanium will be versus stainless steel. So this guy over here on 9to5Mac did some math. I've not gone ahead and checked his math at all. Based on what I know about titanium versus stainless steel with many of the different watches that I have, not just Apple watches, but regular watches, titanium is so much lighter and it's going to make the iPhone 15 Pro feel much better. So if we look at the current weights for the 14, 14 Plus, and 14 Pro Pro Max, you can see the Pro Max is 8.47 ounces. That is incredibly heavy for a phone. With the titanium, they're thinking it could be around 7.8 ounces, which is still higher than the current 14 Pro, which I think is pretty heavy, but far cry from 8.47. Now, if you're like me and you have the 14 Pro right now, dropping down to 6.74 ounces would feel a lot better in the hand. I think that is going to be definitely the sweet spot for this phone. So while these weights are likely not gonna be exact, it kind of gives you an idea of how much lighter titanium really is than stainless steel. And not to mention, I believe it's 30% stronger while it's 30% lighter. So do the math. Uh, this is going to be a very durable iPhone. It's gonna feel a lot better in the hand with these reduced weights. You'll have less fatigue, especially for longer phone use sessions. So let me know what you guys think about all of these stories, about the cables, about the weights. Personally, it all looks really good. This 15 Pro is shaping up to be a very, very good upgrade. I am definitely excited to get my hands on mine and show you guys what it's like. Anyways, I will likely be doing some iPhone 15 Pro case reviews this weekend, so stay tuned. Be sure to subscribe, hit that bell notification so you don't miss it, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.